Hey guys, this is Mike. I'm just making a quick video where I'm going to be doing the unboxing of a new plane I just got in the mail. It is a Hangar 9 J3 Cub 40 sized ARF airplane. So let's just take a look inside the box and see what's inside. Box is upside down. I literally got the box in the mail like 15 minutes ago, so I did spend 10 minutes just positioning the camera. Hope you guys can see alright. Okay, so big box. Let's see what's inside. Look I never come with tape on them. Ooh. Put this is on here. Okay, so first thing in the box I see is a lot of tape. Alright, well I see one elevator half and a rudder. Okay. Put all these parts in the floor. Actually, I'm just going to put them on the desk here. Okay, next up, looks like it's manual, decals, and a little booklet of some sort. Maybe a catalog, it looks like. I'm not sure. We have the other elevator half. Looks like these are bolts on. As long as it's well made, I don't really mind that. Wow, this thing's gonna have a crazy wingspan. Here, let me get through some of this tape. This is one wing half. That is huge. And big ailerons too. Bigger than I thought they would be for a cub. It's the end number I think is fictional. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, probably. Alright, so that's a wing half. Here's the other wing half. That's the left wing half. Okay. Please Okay, so next it looks like a hardware package right here. Inside here we have some foam and a big fuel tank. Now this fuel tank is um Eleven ounces, so that's pretty big. Get some crazy flight time with this thing. It's nice. Here, a piece of cardboard. Most expensive part of the plane. Okay, now we're in the business area. Um, more cardboard. Uh, a lot of tape. Put my knife. Yeah, lots of tape in this thing. That's a landing gear. I love the landing gear. Nice and scale. And uh, it doesn't look like it's functional shocks, but it looks pretty cool, I have to say. That's really nice. Comes with cub wheels and everything, too. I haven't seen those yet, though. Okay. And we have another box. It's also taped in. Oh, it's glued in. These guys don't want me getting to my plane. Whoa. I should say this side up. Hardware package. Cut wheels. Jeez. Look at the warning holes in that bag. Last kit I got, the hardware package was totally split open. Look, they found all the parts though. Screwing around the bag. Oh, more hardware. Have some wing tools, wing tubes, and um, uh, push rods. Looks like the dowel here. This is the dowel they use for a elevator push rod, so they only need to use two servos. Nice. Have a cowl. And it doesn't look damaged. A lot of people get this in the mail and the cowl is broken in half, but this looks good. It's nicely made. Hate to cut it up. 
to get the engine in there. And then my favorite part. Fuselage. You guys could look at this and attach to our some windows. Cool. It's a really thick body. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, it has a little cockpit in there too. Some little gauges. And just like the real cub, the um, the fin is incorporated into the fuselage. Looks like. It'll be a really easy build. This like there's gonna be much gluing involved. Ah, very nice. That's beautiful. All right, well, that looks like it's everything inside the box. Um, and I already got the rest of the hardware needed and equipment. I'm using this plane. I'm using leftovers from the last build I had. Um, be having a. DSA-21 servos, um, AR-6210 receiver, I have all the equipment on the desk here somewhere, and a Sato FA-62. Um, so I'm looking forward to this build. It's not going to take any time, really. I've, this will be my fourth ARF, um, my fifth, my fifth overall airplane. And my third operating airplane, two of them aren't doing so great right now. Can I figure out what's wrong with them? So yeah. Definitely something new for me. Never had a skill airplane before, but this thing's going to be pretty cool. Alright, stay tuned for a little quick build video, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to get the main of on video. It may or may not. We'll see. Um, but I'll definitely be uploading pictures of the completed airplane, because this thing's going to be pretty cool. Alright guys, well thanks for watching and just stay tuned, this thing should be done in no more than two weeks. Maybe even a few, one week, we'll see. About to start spring break, so shouldn't have any trouble finishing it. Alright guys, see ya.